Disclaimer. This video is intended for an audience of 13 plus years old. Parental supervision is advised. Hey guys, Rita's at work, dropped her off. Uh, so I thought today was a perfect opportunity to do a collection video. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna get right into it. You're gonna see a mixture of vintage, modern stuff. Um, but a lot of customs and a lot of dioramas. Uh, so the reason for that is because I don't believe in making my toy collection or my apartment look like aisle 27 in Target or Walmart. So I'm not about that. So <laughs> there's a lot of stuff that I keep in the closet too. We're gonna go over that. Um, I needed to get out the loyal subjects figures anyway to get them back on display. Um, but yeah, comment below. Let me know if you think this is a lot. I don't think it's a lot, but you know, Sometimes Rita thinks it's a lot, or all the time she thinks it's a lot, but <laughs> you guys let me know. I think this is a small, small collection, um, but yeah, comment, let me know. Uh, let's get into it. All right, guys, so as soon as you walk into the apartment, uh, you're kind of greeted by my artwork here. These are pieces I did a long time ago, I think. I think this one is, if I'm not mistaken, canvas, and that one is on cardboard. But I don't know. I don't know if you guys are into art, but uh, but yeah. So kind of cool. But then as you walk in, you're kind of greeted by this guy. Uh, so let's open this up. And so just to start at the bottom. Uh, what I have here are the uh, Mattel, I think it was Mattel who did these, the uh, Wonder, Woman, Wonder Woman figures from 2017, I believe they were. Um, this one is probably my favorite because she comes with the horse. Absolutely beautiful set. Then we have Diana back there with her, I think it's a rocket firing bow. Um, from this uh, scene in the movie where she goes to like a dance or something. Gorgeous. I am not a doll collector, but I'm not, like when I, I don't like Mattel's Wonder Woman figures or multiverse figures from, you know, like in the red box from like 2016, 17. Those figures look like garbage to me. But, um, so they never released like a good, a good uh, figure for her. So when I saw these, these were like the best. I just, I had to have them. I think they're like fantastic. It's a shame we never got awesome action figures. Um, and then we have Princess Leia back there from the Star Wars, um, from Return of the Jedi. Slave Leia. As we moving up, this is basically like my six, six inch DC Comics display. Obviously no movie Wonder Woman. But um, you can see I got Cheetah. There. Dark Knight Batman and Superman. Love those guys. Um, my NECA Batman. This is actually a custom. So this is um, NECA re released a figure for a loot crate. Uh, it was like a te Techno Shield Batman, I think. He was all gold. Uh, and I paid $22 for that figure on eBay. Nobody, nobody wanted it, so I bought it. Um, and I painted it black. And then I gave him a new cape. Uh, so this got, this is also custom, but I wasn't going to pay for the other NECA Batman, the real version of it, because that's like going for stupid money on eBay and I'm not paying that. Shazam. My favorite version of Wonder Woman, uh, even though it doesn't, even though it has limited articulation, this is by far in a way the best sculpt I think I've ever seen on a Wonder Woman figure, um, like in terms of cartoon. Uh, it's fantastic. Um, Joker, that is a custom hat that I made for him. And this Tommy gun came from Fortnite. I don't play Fortnite, but I like the figures, specifically the weapons. It's my favorite Batman, Poison Ivy. And that is the, um, the ripoff, or what do you call it, the KO. That is the KO. Uh, Christopher Reeve uh, Superman and you can see I ripped off the cape that is a custom wired cape he's on a flight stand and I repainted all of the red plastic on him 
the Superman symbol is all repainted the head the hair is repainted and then I also put on the back of the cape the yellow S which maybe I can show you guys I think you might be able to can you see that? Uh, no, you can't see it. Oh well, trust me, it's there. Uh, going above that, Toys R Us, got Jeffrey. I don't know why this is here. This was a gift. Someone went on vacation, one of Rita's friends, and she just kind of stuffed her in there. Is it a real doll? It's not even a real doll, it's a... Uh, I don't know. That's... Let me get that out of there so you guys can take a look at what's going on in here. Uh, two different Jefferies. This one has the gift card. Um, then there's this guy. This is my favorite version of Batgirl. Um, they never made a proper action figure for this. Um, I think Mattel did one, but it was, again, not good. But look at the hips. Unbelievable. Unbelievable how good this is. Gorgeous. And this is like glitter, so I mean just putting this under the light is amazing. I think it was like 60 bucks too, it was awesome. Moving up. Uh, what do you call these? Who makes these? Cryptozoic. I got this one for 20, I think I got that one for 15 or something. No one even really knew that these came out. The best time to grab these is when they just come out because no one's even looking on eBay. Uh, Elvira, I don't remember where I got her. Um, that is the vintage collection, Boba Fett. Um, to me, he's made to look like, you know, one of the, you know, the original action figure. Love that thing. Uh, it's a 12 inch figure, but it's gorgeous. I think that's, that competes with uh, Hot Toys. I mean, in my opinion. I, I just, I saw that, I had to have it. This I, I bought in KB Toy Store right before KB closed. I think I paid $7. He is complete. Um, I love that figure. Now he's going for a pretty penny on eBay. This is a Horizon model kit. This is my favorite version of Cable. Um, so it's a vinyl kit, so it's, it's, it's hollow. Um, maybe you can, it's hollow. Uh, I gave him a base, I gave him like some other weapons that I had, like a, there was a Darth Vader model kit, I just kind of threw some random junk on there, so he's like from the future. But I painted this, I put it together, I cut it, and uh, I did everything I had to do. And this is just my favorite, uh, thing of cable like I just wish that they could make this in action figure form we'll get to it later there's this outfit is actually based off of the version 3 costume I think it was from uh, Toy Biz which came out in like 93 or something like that but um, when I when I break it out when we get there I'll show you a comparison hey guys I totally forgot to show uh, this off this is uh, an autographed Dom Mattingly uh, baseball card. I actually bought this and pulled it off uh, out of the pack. So that was really cool because I'm a huge New York Yankee fan. And he's probably my second favorite Yankee behind uh, Alex Rodriguez. So just wanted to show that off because it's actually really cool. That's why it's a little random, but I like having it displayed like that. I'm in the process of actually selling uh, my baseball cards. so. Um, yeah, this is the only one I'm probably gonna keep. Yeah, but if you turn this way, hey, if you turn this way, uh, you are greeted by this cabinet. This is the new one, and you can see it's black, so it's a little difficult to see in there. But got this guy. Woohoo! That's awesome. All right, let's start at the bottom. <clears throat> All right, so these are my Thundercats. Uh, I am waiting for the pre-orders to come in from Super 7. I have them ordered. Um, I don't know if that orange one is uh, Wily Kid or Wily Cat. That's from my childhood. 
Uh, Lionel is my original from my childhood. So is Tigra. Everything else was purchased maybe four years ago, three years ago, something like that. Um, but this is going to look really awesome when the, when the Super 7 ones come in. Uh, right above that, we have Super Powers. Um, we got Batman and Robin back there. Hanging out in the Batmobile. I need to figure out like a really awesome display. Uh, something that can get these guys elevated. Um, Robin is from Toy Biz. That's not Super Powers, but um, both of those are from my childhood. I remember getting that Batman for Christmas. So the colors are faded, but that is my Batman from 1984. I got that for Christmas. I also got Superman um, and a Firestorm. Hawkman is my brother's. He gave him to me, um, so it's his childhood toy. But at least it's it's in the collection. He he really didn't want it anymore. Everybody else, Shazam was purchased for eleven dollars in a lot of Jurassic Park figures, if you can believe that. That's a nice Batmobile, probably the best one ever made from Kenner. Um, that is my original Keaton Batman from '89 Toy Biz. And I do have the other one from the Dark Knight collection in there. That's also mine from 1992, I think it came out. Um, yeah, but this this is pricey now. Um, and then I got this little Batman bat signal thing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's actually an LED light. And when the shelf is off, if you turn this on, you can see it. So I thought that was really cool. Not bad for like $3. Going up is my He-Man display, um, so let's talk about the bases. So the first thing you'll notice is that, uh, so these are cardboard, these are custom. Um, I made these uh, purple for the bad guys. Try to make it really pop. And you guys can see that. It's just cardboard cut out and then glued on top of cardboard and then I painted it. Um, for the good guys are just to mix it up, I got the green. Uh, starting in the back, we got He-Man. That is a Motu Classics body that I bought uh, from China. I feel like I paid 22 for it. Then I got the head, and I customized it and just put it together. So, so the figure cost me like you know maybe 55 dollars. But I got that because, and I did it that way because this was when Super Seven hadn't released or re-released the Ultimates mold. So, Filmation He-Man, Filmation Skeletor was going for like $600 on eBay, and people were paying that, and they're, I mean, it, I wouldn't even pay 100 for it, so I was like, you know what, screw it, I'm just going to customize it. That's the beauty of being a customizer. You're going to be able to do things and, and get things that other people are, are stuck paying for, but, you know, if you guys want a He-Man, and it's selling for $600 on eBay, who cares? You can always just buy something, put it together, paint it, and uh, you'll have your own. And it'll cost you way cheaper. It'll cost you like 40 bucks. Uh, another perfect example is this Stinkor. This is not uh, a real Stinkor. This is uh, a custom. So the body belongs to um, Terra Claw Skeletor. I think I bought the body from China. Cost me 18 bucks, 17 bucks. And the uniform piece, this front piece, belongs to a vintage uh, Stinkor. Yeah, it was about vintage Stinkor. And the back part comes from a Masters of the Universe Classics uh, Terror Claws uh, Skeletor. He came with the thing. So I just cut the, the vest in half and glued this plastic piece to the, to the Motu piece. Um, everything else is just paint. Um, I believe this is original Motu. Maybe? I'm not sure. This I know came from Merman. Um, I bought this Merman and then somebody sent me two guns. So I, had, so, I had, so I had an extra gun. So I just repainted it and gave it to, to, uh, to Stinkor here. Um, let me, normally, I, I mean, I'll review him later, but I wanted to show off that I actually went to the trouble of doing a, um, how much detail I put in there. Again, this is all custom. 
These are like little plastic tubes that I found, um, I don't know, in a 99 cent store, I think. Um, Trap Draw. Evil Lynn, that's uh, the mispainted first printed version. So, I mean, I didn't care. They sold them to me, sold her for like 30 bucks to me. Uh, I just brought her home and repainted her, but apparently like nobody wanted the figure um, because the paint was really, really bad. Skeletor is the same thing as He-Man. That's a classics body, um, a custom head, but what's cool is that is my custom relay. They never made a relay. Uh, let me see if I can get her out. Is it a him or is it a her? I don't, I don't know. There we go. Let me show that off. I purchased the this figure from the dollar store for one dollar obviously. Brought it home and I had the perfect base body. Uh, eyelashes, the hat, uh, the ears, the cheeks and tongue and nose, the feet, and the tail. This is all epoxy sculpt. So that's all me. I sculpted all of, I mean, I sculpted this whole thing. All I could really do was use the base body and the head was nice because it was like a foundation. So it saved me a lot of work. Um, make sure we get there you go. Um, yeah, and then we got the movie figures. So uh, He-Man. This is a custom Tila that I did from the movie. Um, that is a Marvel Legends Forge. Pistol. I just put it in her hand for now, but I am working on a movie accurate pistol. That's all extra sculpt by me on the boots. Those are um, these light tan straps are rubber band. Sculpt the gloves. These are real pieces of uh, like leather that I cut out. I made the strap. That's all uh, sculpted. Let me see if I get that. Focus. There we go. That's all sculpt. That's all sculpt. Uh, that design on the chest, that's sculpt. It's on the back also, sculpt. Hair is sculpt. And what did I use for the head? I think it's just a typical, like, Motu head. But, yeah. Those are original, so I am working on Evil Lynn and Matted Arms, and then I want to do a Beast Man. So that's, I'm getting arrogant, I'm getting cocky now, but that's what I'm going to be doing. I like challenges. Uh, ow, my knee. Okay, this shelf is slowly becoming storage, so you can see I got some more base. I need to hold on to those for when I'm ready with uh, uh, Matted Arms and Evil Lynn. So I'm probably going to repaint those to be purple. Uh, this is a Halloween skull from Rite Aid. I think they were selling it. I, I think I found this for like 20 cents or something. Um, but the jaw used to move. You can see it's like, it's one of those cheesy like decorations. I cut it off. I had this base. I just painted it and stuck it on. So I was using it to display my custom Conan figure. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. Um, cause I think I'm going to get rid of it or, or do something with it, but uh, okay, so this, if you're familiar with Blade Runner 2049, is um, Ryan Gosling's spinner. This is a model kit, a resin model kit from, uh, what's his name, Randall, Randy Cooper. You can find him on eBay. I must warn you, it's not great customer service. And uh, I can tell you that you're going to be waiting about a month and a half to get a kit. And it's extremely expensive kind of regretting it but now i'm kind of all in i'm not in a model building guy um not since that cable you saw i mean i built that when i was 16 so really not a a model guy so i'm definitely in over my head with this kit but i'm obsessed with the movie so um i don't know what to do with her but i saw her in walgreens and i was absolutely obsessed so i had to have her i love the the sculpt i love the design i put the gun in her hand she comes with that bottle of whiskey and another head, but I love this head. I just, oh man, I think she's like, I think she's great. 
It looks like she's crying or crazy. She's got a nosebleed. I mean, I couldn't pass on that figure. So when we move up, you're going to see uh, this is another custom. So this is uh, my custom version of Big Boss from Metal Gear Solid. I put him in the Marvel Legends Night Thrasher body. And then I just did some paint. All the yellow bands that you see are actually um, a rubber band, just painted. I gave him these shoulder pads that say Diamond Dogs. That is not paint, I just printed it out, cut it out, and then glued it on. Um, but I love this figure. Look at that face. I think, who is that? Is that maybe Submariner? Maybe? I'm not sure. Um, custom hair in the back. That's all me. Uh, the collar is from um, Toy Biz, Marvel Legends Bishop. I had an extra one lying around. There's some weapons and stuff like that. Love that thing. Actually, I'll move it down so you can guys can see. Here's the custom Conan that I was talking about. This is one of my favorite customs. That is a NECA Arnold head. The crown, the hair, that's all me. That's all sculpt. Sword comes from Marvel Legends Hercules, I believe it was. Um, but then I had to customize it. Did the best I could. The body, yeah, the body is also Hercules. I don't remember whose legs I attached to it. I don't remember. Um, belt is custom, gave him a knife. But I love this thing. And the thing I love about this the most is the. I mean, it's not real, but this is, uh, I went to a 99 cent store, I bought like fake, uh, like winter hats and, and scarves and gloves and ripped out the lining inside. I, I've, I've been known to do that before in the past also. I'll cut up a teddy bear if I like the fur pattern and I might put it on like a red Sonia or put it on like another figure. Um, that necklace, custom, pretty awesome. We'll, we'll get into it. We'll get into it later. But the most impressive thing about this, the thing I really love about it, the leg boot that's glued on and the foot is also glued on separately. So that means that, and I'll show it off later, not now, but um, this has ankle pivot. So the entire boot is fur and you can actually twist the ankle. So I love that. Um, you're also going to go down there. That is not my crowning achievement uh but that's what i came up with for jack from the movie legend the ridley scott film that is my custom lily real cloth and then of course this is my custom darkness that is all sculpt epoxy sculpt by me and i went with like real jewels and real like jewelry pieces for his outfit and real cloth so when i got down to the boots that's all sculpt i had to sculpt that um i'll do a review on him one day also um but if you but if you guys look close can you see it anyone want to take a guess whose face that actually is tombstone from marvel legends I ripped the head off and that's what I came out with. <laughs> so, love Queen Gorgo. Robocop in the back, Mike Myers. Um, I don't know how many of you guys actually like Sherlock Holmes, but I am in love with the Sherlock Holmes Jeremy Brett version of the television show. Um, so that is my custom Jeremy Brett. Uh, absolutely love that um the eyes i had to customize the mouth this is a gotham penguin figure from diamond select um my custom blade runner figures so like i said before i'm obsessed with uh, both movies so that is my we'll call them tears in the rain harrison ford uh deckard um the shirt, the tie, that's all custom, and I try to make it as accurate as possible to the movie, to the final scene. Um, 
Ivan wrapped up his broken fingers with the shirt. Uh, and that's a real coat. This one is not a real coat, but I have to get one custom made. I already spoke to somebody. I reached out. This is Officer K from Part 2. Custom. And so I'm actually going to build that. It's going to have LED lights, and I'm going to cut the doors off and actually have them open and close. And I am going to get Officer K into that car. And I'm going to customize a couple of other characters. So I'm sure you guys noticed uh, we have some people who dropped over here. I don't know like how that happened. Why? How did I not notice that? Sally. Sally has terrible legs and obviously I need to get a stand for these guys because yeah, not not going great. These are these are the uh, the Walgreens ones. Um, got my alien egg. See, they knocked over my little chest hugger. Chest burster, I should say. Johnny. All right, moving up. Stranger Things. Still missing two of the kids. Predator. Um, these are the Jungle Hunters. Um, I needed two, so I could display one without the helmet, one with. Um, in the back are some of my favorite monster figures ever. These are um, Sideshow Collectibles. Um, I think they're called Silver Screen because it's, uh, they're black and white. So I, I don't think it's coming up too well in the, in the camera. But all these figures are black and white. And they are the original monsters. They never made a Dracula, unfortunately. They did make a Dracula figure, but they released two different versions. So Dracula's colored, or painted I should say. And so I don't want him in the collection, but it's a shame they never did a black and white version Because uh, I would have bought it custom base Again just cardboard you can do a lot with cardboard and then moving over. This is my custom alien display So uh, you can see that we got the alien coming out of the pipe um, This is my favorite video game Ripley Amanda Ripley Ripley's daughter uh, if you've never played Alien Isolation, I highly recommend it. You can see we got blood in there. and This display is a little bit of both. So I wanted this to look like the inside of the Nostromo. But at the same time, I wanted it to have aspects from the video game. So I'm just going to turn on the LEDs in this and then I'll be right back. Um, in the back from the game. That is the emergency save point. Um, really cool that I was able to do that. A um, couple of signs. Those are authentic from a model kit that I printed out online. Um, I don't know what they mean, but I just like them <laughs> and I uh, printed them out. And also, that in the video game when there's a cabinet and there's a green light means that there's an item in there that you might be able to use to save your life. Hi Vickers. I'm out back there. Alright, moving over. Weirdos. Mm -hmm. Alright. Now you're greeted by this wall, and this is pretty much it. So, oh, except for the pops, those two are brand new, and you guys saw this in a previous video. Let's start at the top. That is a custom Doom Tower that is made out of cardboard. And blue. <laughs> that's that's about it. Um, these guys do light up. So do that. Um, they I couldn't glue them down because the on buttons on the bottom. But um, you know when I have guests coming over or something, I can I can turn those on, and it looks pretty cool. Got Doom up 
on top, trying to rule the world. Those two gargoyles do not light up. Um, oh, and inside is a picture. I made that look like a custom kind of portrait of him. And inside, I think you can see that, it's a button. And so yeah, so I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, that took me like, I don't know, a week and a half to make. This guy you saw, we did a review. That video will be up by the time you see this. That is an original X-Wing. I bought that when I was a kid. Um, I'm not old enough to have bought that in the store. I bought it at a flea market, probably in like 85, something like that. But I've had it ever since. This is a custom. I think it's a Poe Dameron body. And I just threw a Luke Skywalker head on the figure. The 12 inch Marvel Legends. Not bad. Sergeant Savage, P-40 Warhawk, love that thing. I bought that for like 30 bucks, I think it was 28 bucks, something like that. These are two marble statues from the same company, Horizon, that did the cable. And so I built those, I put those together. All my model kits that I put together, I did when I was 16, 17, something like that. Um, I'm now 38, gonna be 39, so they've, I've had those for quite a long time. Um, that is not a statue by me, but uh, Grendel. That was a gift from my cousin, and apparently it's like really, it's a limited statue, it's pretty valuable, so I've just always kept it. I've had it since I was 16, 17. He's the one who got me into the model kit, so um, thanks, cuz. Okay, so the video got longer than anticipated. I decided to cut it up into three separate videos just to make it easier for you guys. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure, going through the collection. Um, if you like what you saw, join me for chapter two. Um, and I will see you in the next one.